All right, let's see if I can make one that's fast and easy. Silver market, going down, down, down. It's going to 100 Monkey here, fooling around with the silver market, and just taking a look at charts and stuff, news. Um, see, if you understand Austrian money and economics and some mathematics and some simple math concepts, uh, the world around you is not such a confusing place. Why would it be going down like this? Well, they rigged this market, for one thing. Uh, this is a, they treat it just like penny stocks. If you guys have ever played penny stocks, here we are in the penny stock market, except it's the silver market, for God's sakes. Some of the, anyway, if you understand the history of silver in this country, some of the barons of all time were made with silver mines. But anyway, um, bam, there's that thing I talk about taking them down. Then they're, oh, it's bouncing around down here. Bam, oh, it's going to go, it's going to go. Oh, no, head fake. Look familiar? Oh, right, that's a daily. This is, you know, a few weeks it took to do this. Oh, it's going to take off. People buying and then saying it was going to go. Look, lower highs and lower lows do not make a market that's about to take off. Wild swings in the market, again, Jason, don't make <laughs> markets that are about to take off. They're taking it back down here. Here's what I know. I know that Goldman Sachs and other guys, Goldman sees risk of gold below 1,000 on the U.S. economy. I hear Jim Rogers. I hear other guys. I hear Soros. I hear all these other guys talking about how the paper uh, players are getting out of paper and getting into physical. But right now, the paper is linked to physical. So while they sell the paper, it brings the market down. And how beautiful is that? They bring the market down, and then they get to buy the physical at the lower price because of the paper that they sold. I mean, just, uh, just think about that. How awesome that is if you're one of the big players. Now, for us little guys down here, while they're bringing the price down and while your butt's hurting because you bought a whole bunch at 40 and 30 and 25 or whatever, buy more. It's a gift. They're giving you a gift. This is the most undervalued commodity of all commodities in the history of commodities trading in the history of the world that we know of. <laughs> the written record going back four or 5,000 years. It's all paper. We've got this thing called silver, and it is so undervalued. It's like 60 to 1. I don't even know what it is. It's 65 to 1. There's this thing called revision to mean. And the general uh, price to gold to silver ratio is about 16 to 1. Right now, it's 1,320. So what is that? That's like 60 to 1 ratio easily. Okay, more than that. All right, that should tell you right there. And this is shite right here. This is paper. This is nothing. It's our currency. We are the best looking horse in the glue factory, but we're still the horse of the glue factory. Now, this is buy territory. This is sell territory. We are just getting back into buy territory. This is not rocket science. That's the 50 day moving average. Here is the 100 day moving average. What you want is to get in under that average. 200 day moving average also but you see we're actually not there we could, we're going to come down more i guarantee we're going to pat we're going to go through this thing here now they made money going long they're making money going short they try to tell you that it was going to take off when it was doing this stuff over here and it was no it's not taking off and it's not and i could it could do this and this could be the same you know they could be fractals of each other where we have this action and then it just keeps going down we have this action and it just keeps going down now, over the long haul, generally about this time, it starts going back up again, right? Because this is the time, fall is when they start, with fall and winter, the prices go up. Spring and summer, the prices come down. Simple. This is, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. But right now, what we have is we have the big money selling their butts to get out of paper and to pick up the physical asset. You should be picking up the physical asset too. Now, in the meantime, before the end of the world, and it's not the end of the world, I've said this numerous times, it's just the end of, the, of this current system, and this current system is going to collapse. And when it collapses, first we have deflation, then we have hyperinflation, then we have utter and complete chaos and collapse, then we have a period of disruption, then we come out the other side smelling like roses, if enough people get educated and make the sheep understand that the whole freaking thing was contrived. This was not an accident. It's not the fault of the poor people. It's not the fault of fucking subprime lenders. It's not the fault, right? It is what's happening here is contrived. And what they're going to do is they're going to offer us a new debt-based system that's even worse than the old debt-based system. Now, uh, and if you understand, like I said, some math and some economics, you'll see that that's absolutely where we're going or what's going to happen. So, the moral of the story is buy down here, 
buy low, sell high, not buy bottom, sell top. If you bought over here and it fell, right? Don't, don't, you don't need to, don't, don't worry. You didn't need to sell there, or get to sell, right? Because over the long haul, it's going to go past this. This is not even 30 right here. So it's going to go past 30, but it's going to be a while before it gets there. This is why if you have money to dump in this market, you better not be in the kind of person that needs it. Because like, say you had it here and you were expecting to make money and go, and now it's all the way down here. And now something has changed in your life and now you need the money. Well, you're screwed because you can't get your money back because it's under where you bought it. That's why you have to be a patient investor and the money that you put into this market does not is not you know money that you need for rent money that you need for mortgage money that you need right you don't gamble in this market i'm dandy most of my purchases were down there at five and seven and ten and then i bought some in the teens and then i sold some in the teens and then i bought some in the 20s but my uh, every time if i were to sell right here i'd still be positive by about three times my money on the average Right? But I'm not selling down here. I'm collecting down here. Right? If it gets down here, I'm for sure buying a lot more. The lower under 20 it gets, the more I'll sell. And I'm, and I'm not joking. I will sell stuff <laughs> to get into this market if it starts going under, say, 15. I mean, I will begin you know, getting rid of things to, get, to uh, sell the car and get a cheaper, crappier car so, and take the money and put it into this market because a few months later, you'll be happy, happy, happy. Right? I mean, take a look at this. If you'd done that here, when you if you knew, right? Because people were making fun of me. Ah, oh, look, look. Oh, look, that guy's silly. Oh, look, it's all the way down here. Oh, look, look, it's not doing anything. You don't know it's gonna go up. Oops. And then everybody started jumping in when it got around here. And I was like, Ugh. anyway, what are you gonna do? And if you bought around here and you sold, good. But most people bought around here and kept it, and now we're way down here, and now you're all happy. And look, that's been two years ago. So it's not the fast turnaround thing if you got the physical, right? If you're gonna paper trade then you need to be able to ride these kind of things out. But most people don't have the gumption for that. So just collect physical. And like I said, buy, 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 buy. But wait a minute, it's we're, we've lost money. Buy, 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 we've lost money. Buy, buy, right? And when it gets back down here, buy, because eventually it's gonna get back up here again. There's no question. How long it takes is the question. Now, understand the name of the game is buy low, sell high. Understand the concept of revision to mean. Understand that they can't pull it out of the ground at a profit down here. And that will never be the, that, that will never stay the same. Understand that the big money is getting out of paper and eventually the paper and the physical market are going to decouple. And when that happens, all bets are off and they're going to have to have a new way of figuring out what the price, right? I have a market that figures out what the price of silver is. Because right now, the price of silver is not what, what they're printing it right now. I mean, it's just, this is not the real price of silver right now. And I should probably refresh this. Right now, the price of silver says that it's 21.79 and that number is complete bullshit. There is no way that an ounce of silver is only worth 21.79. So collect as much of it as you can, even if they say later on that, oh, the price of silver is actually only 15. If you can get silver for 15 bucks an ounce in your pocket physical silver I do so right and they may try to spin those plates but eventually the plates are gonna fall and when that crash happens I'm telling you the price is gonna take off we're gonna be more than 40 we're gonna be more than 100 we're gonna be more than 150 and I won't make predictions after that but even those numbers are gonna seem like scratch before they install the new system and make sure that you get some, not just like 10 ounce bars and one ounce bars, make sure you get some dimes and some other small stuff. Because if things go as far awry as I think they may go far awry, you, you, won't, you, you won't be able to spend a, a, a 10 ounce bar <laughs> because that'll be too much money. You won't be able to go to swap meet with a 10 ounce bar or a, a farmer's market with a 10 ounce bar unless you're freaking buying bushels and bushels. Anyway, uh, that's good, less than 10 minutes. There's the whole thing. There it is. There, I'm telling you, making the calls on these, it's not that hard. Yeah, I'm sticking my neck out, but I'm telling you, we're coming back down here. We'll probably get a double bottom, maybe even a triple bottom before the thing takes off. And they might do one or two more of these kind of head fakes, but it's the trend is down. We are in a downtrend in our uptrend, but the overall trend is up. This bull market is intact, and overall, there's no way that it doesn't, you know, that the bull market doesn't stay intact and that the price of silver doesn't go up. Just there's mathematically impossible for it not to. Paper is going to go to zero eventually. All right.
educate your friends, educate self, make some money in the meantime if you can. If you don't, then just, you know, collect and you'll be fine. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. E pluribus unum, crime stuffers.